Hello, I'm Ondra Žiška and I will show you how to create some business cards in LibreOffice in Ubuntu. First start LibreOffice, then choose File, New and Labels. Don't use business cards, it didn't work for me well. Now here you have to specify the format. You can use the predefined formats. I have created already my own, but the first one I used was Avery A4 and then Avery Business Cards. I cannot find it right. Oh, here it is. So Avery Biz Card. Then I went to Options. Here you have to choose Entire Page, then set up the uh, your printer. Then you have to uh, check the synchronize content to make it enabled. Then you go to format and check the predefined measurements. Uh, this is the most important is the width and height of the visit card or the business card. This is I think this is the usual uh, standard format. Not sure for which country though, maybe US. But it works for me. It's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice size. Uh, the rest is just okay. Uh, make sure that the size fits in the page size you've chosen. So now you can create a new document, or first you can save the format first to uh, let so you can use it next time here on the first uh, on the first tab labels so I can use my uh, saved uh, brand and type okay new document so it created uh, I don't know which is it whether it's writer yeah it says writer so it's a text document and you can start doing your stuff so here you have several frames by the way, uh, you don't see it, but I have to move it here. And there is a window somewhere around which says synchronize labels. We will use it later. So, first thing you do is that you add some frames. You position the parts of the visit card or the, of the business card using uh, frames. So, you click insert and frame. Now you choose the size of the frame, but this is all doable using mouse, so just click OK. Maybe, well, this is the standard stuff of the writer, so if you are familiar with it, you know what, what is that. Otherwise, you will have to experiment a bit, but I think the defaults are quite fine for now. Don't use uh, anchor to page, because it would anchor the stuff to, not to the frame of the, of the business card, but, but to... Uh, the whole page which we don't want all right so okay now I will move it somewhere I know here and stretch it to the, to the whole business card so this why I'm doing this is that I want a nice border I'll show you how to do the border uh, you click frame borders and default style let's say some line and some width the default is again is okay and the background we will leave with it with no fill so now you can put some picture in so let's say uh, I don't know some nice picture your photo or anything so let's say let's say our business is about uh, ice creams so let's insert a picture of an ice cream. Um, here I have one maybe. Which one was the nice one? Let's say this one. Oh, where's the picture now? Alright, I cannot see it. This is the frame. I want to insert the picture into the frame so once again hmm. uh, 
Okay, so I have figured it out. It's you cannot uh, put the image when you have the frame selected. So you need to click into the frame this way to have the uh, carrot blinking. So now insert the picture. And here it is. Now you need to resize it. So I recommend to hold shift when resizing because otherwise it will give you free uh, shape. But this way it, it takes it keeps the ratio of the uh, of the original image. So let's move it somewhere here. Yeah, that's that's about it. And now let's I don't know we can we can either. Uh, position the text now uh, either by normal text formatting or using a frame so if you want to use frames you would insert the frame again but I don't want to mess with frames anymore so let's use the, the other the other way so it would it would be uh, writing text around the image so let's say my name is John Smith mm, that's not a good name but let's say oh Grace Park is a good name. What do you think? So Grace Park, and uh, I don't know uh, my tell number is five 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 zero six one two point eight. <laughs> All right, or rather two eight eight. That's better. And now an email address. So that would be let's say Grace or G. Do Park at what was the battleship she was at? I don't know. Let's say Cylon dot org or maybe Gov government. And uh, I don't know. That's almost all. And now let's say uh, well we should use styles to style the the text so let's say I want to have a custom style or let's see if we have a which one is this uh, frame contents okay so let's let's change the frame contents style Modify. and I want to use the Ubuntu font I like the Ubuntu font quite let's see what it does oh huh, that's okay Right, so let's have this. Now we want to move it a bit left, so let's set the pictures properties. I want to move the text to the right to have more space around the image, so I will use uh, sp image spacing. Where is that? Uh, picture is not there, borders, background, group, rep. That's rep. Okay, so spacing, right. And I will add some, I don't know, 0 0.3, that's too much. 0 0.20 could be it. Mm, let's say, all right, let's have it. And now it's too, uh, the line spacing is too much, so I want to make it single, and that's it. And now it's, now the paragraph is, yeah, that's it. The whole paragraph is too high, so I will have it just 0 0.2. That's nice. Right now the grace park. Now you shouldn't do this, but I will because I don't want to spend my life with it. But you should make the spacing here not by pressing enter, but by setting the paragraph properties anyway, or by by positioning a frame if you use frames. So I want to make this a bit big, bigger, maybe bold. Yes, bold is good. And. It should be because I made it bold and it's and bigger. It should be again uh, below paragraph should be a bit mm, bigger. Mm. Yeah, that's that's good. All right, so now it should be also all right. So in the end, I will probably use the positioning anyway because I would like it to have centered in the next to the image vertically. So let's say. Uh, that would be rep. Uh, oh no, I'm, I'm I, I, again. I have the frame active, so I don't want the, the 
to edit the frame I want to edit the text so how to get rid of the selection this way okay so now paragraph and before paragraph and let's see what it does oh actually there is no uh, apply button so I have to just guess the space next to the image is, is 0 0.4 so I, I want around 0 0.8 maybe mm, no so let's say 0 0.20 I don't know what these units are actually it's, it says it says it it's inches but it doesn't seem like an inch to me anyway this is almost good but I'm a perfectionist so I want to have it 24 yeah that's it okay that's it and now what's our business okay so we want we can we can do some enters and then blah 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 and then maybe put it to the center but that would be really really wrong you shouldn't even do this well in case of business cards maybe you could but mm, I wouldn't recommend because it's it's not a good good way to uh, format uh, text to do to do DTP. So now let's make a frame. Let's insert another frame, and we will uh, anchor it to another frame to to the one to parent frame. I don't know if it will work like that, but I believe so. So it should be positioned uh, uh, according to the to the parent frame, to the visit card frame, to the one with the black border. So let's try it. Okay, here we go. Let's move it here. I will stretch it. Let's say for the whole size. Okay, <coughs> that's it. I don't want a black another black border here. So let's make it without border. That's none. No go. Okay. And now stretch it down. Alright. Oh. I'm not sure if that would make the line disappear, so I will make it here. And maybe even here. And here go out of the black line. And now we can enter the text. So again we want to get rid of the Selection and put some text. So our what did I say we are doing? Ice creams. So uh, I know fruity uh, uh, ice creams distribution distribution. Uh, Or let's say we want to add some brands, so or or let's put a brand above. So let's make let's make it this way: fruity ice creams distribution, and the brand name is uh, I don't know. Uh, let's say yummy 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 ice. Yummy ice ice. Okay, I'm just using yummy ice ice or something long because I want to make it larger. Yummy ice ice. Then I want to make it centered, even larger. Mm, that's good. Now I'll make this smaller because it's just a punchline. Let's say. Then mm, yummy yeah, ice ice isn't really nice brand. So let's make it. I don't know. Ooh, family frost is taken already. So I don't know. Who? Uh, firefly ice cream. I don't know if ice cream is one word or two. Let me look. As you probably know. Uh, okay, it's two words. So as you probably noticed, English isn't my first language. It's my third language actually. So let's uh, make it 
Firefly, ah, Firefly could be oh, okay. Ice cream, fruity ice creams distribution. Okay, I don't know if it, that's grammatically correct, but mm, I know that it's not uh, typographically correct because the text is too, too below, below the other. So I think it is actually spacing of the, of the other one. Um, so. Like the punchline could be, I don't know, could be in italics. Okay, does it look nice? Hmm, I think it does. Okay, so we are almost done. Just let move the this a bit down to make it even better. Okay. All right. So, so let's say we have a we have our business card now and we want to make it appear in the other frames as well because we have eight frames total on the page so that's when the button synchronize label labels comes in so let's press it and voila our business card is copied seven times to the rest of the page okay so now we save it I would recommend to make versions because you can make different one with uh, let's say different picture and what I use for it is versions so I do uh, versioning where is that um, I thought it, it was here versions it's not possible right now I don't know why maybe ah that's because I didn't save the file yet so let's save the file I don't know let's make it Oh, let's name it business card 01 or yeah 01 is good and now we can do the versioning so versions save new version and this one would be I have a new window here uh, this one would be with the ice cream image or picture oh, doesn't matter. okay that's it now we have a version saved and we can start changing to some other version okay anyway now we want to print it uh, some printers especially network printers may have problems printing directly from LibreOffice or OpenOffice or any other office so I would recommend first to export as PDF natively, not to print to PDF because that's sometimes prob problematic as well. But uh, use directly the function of exporting to PDF of the software you are using. So uh, I think the defaults are okay. I just unclicked the create PDF form because we don't use PDF forms, and I pressed lose less compression because uh, I don't want uh, to lose any quality of the picture. So let's export and now we can do some, I don't know, business card 01 PDF. That's okay. Save. Okay, got it. And we have a PDF and now it's up to you to figure out how to print the PDF. That should be as easy as possible. So that's all. Thanks for watching and I hope that this tutorial helped you make in your uh, our own business cards for free and see you